She's like an old lady. Ooh. Hold up. Oh, we gotta do it like this. Mm -mm. I didn't mean to do it like this. Oh well. We only got one person in here. Child, oh, <laughs> I look like somebody going on the sit up there. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Saturday. Um, I just wanted to come and talk to y'all about the waist beads. Okay, so um I know in my live yesterday I said I was gonna charge them. I was gonna um charge but the waist beads, um well actually I posted a video last night saying I was gonna do like five dollars each. Okay, that can only be for in town because, um, see, and y'all know I'm not good at this because I don't like my, I don't like stuff being expensive. I don't. But in order for me to keep making them, I'm gonna have to charge a certain amount for me to be able to buy the products and stuff and then be shipping them. So I think um, for people who are out of town, I they can be ten dollars each. And, um, yeah, if you order five, then it'll be 20 and so on and so on. But they are $10 each for people who are out of town. If you're in town, it's $5. You can have any colors you want. Just let me know what colors you want. Um, honestly, you, you can also get, like like the mixed like these come mixed i'm doing this one now for somebody those colors i i did this one i did this color this gold with um these right here i got one on my waist i'll show y'all in a minute this gold and black one i made for this girl that stays here um but yeah i try to y'all know i don't i don't like to make anything expensive but I'll have to charge that price. I have to charge twenty for people out of town, um, for me to keep buying the stuff and then for me to ship it. Cause my mom was like, 
Well, James, um, you need to make sure you do research on on what to be charging because you don't want to be charging so less and then you don't make no money from it and then you don't have no money to buy anymore. And I was like, dang, she right. And I'm be thinking about that. I just I, when, when I get an idea, I get real excited about it and I can't wait to do it. And then um, next thing you know, I'm like, make sure I'm charging very, very less because I don't like the, you know, I don't, like, I don't like anything. I don't like to charge people anything expensive because I don't want nobody to feel like, oh, that costs too much. Da, 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 da. But she was right. So that's why I, I changed the price on them. If I had my way, of course, I wouldn't do that. But I need to be able to buy more to keep making for y'all. But so far, I've made one, two, three. I made three. Um, I have on one. I made one for Jalen. And I'm making two for this girl I went to school with. She wanted a golden black one. And she wanted one uh, with this combination. Hold on, let me show y'all. I just showed it to y'all. This combination here. It's like purples, browns, per like a pearl color. Like It's some pretty colors in there. But that's the one she wanted. What you getting from Sam's Club? And then she also said she has like a bunch of beads and stuff that she don't use that she was going to give me. And I was like, okay, well, thank you. Appreciate that. But I'm making hers now, her second one. Um, and I noticed they stretch pretty good. Oh, okay, you're getting like snacks or like grocery groceries, like meats and stuff. But yeah, um, they stretch pretty good. I was scared of that because I was like, oh, what if I don't make them big enough? And da, 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 da. But um, I made mine. I I didn't suck my stomach in. I let it. Um, sorry. <laughs> I let it. Um, I let my stomach hang out. Then I measured it around my stomach because that way, let's say it rolls up to my stomach somehow. And then... Um, and let's say I do somehow suck my stomach, it'll hang. Like, it won't fit my stomach tight, and then it'll drop to my hips. I like to wear mine on my hips, because I don't want it around my gut. <laughs> I don't, I'll show y'all in a minute, but I just got on this little towel robe right now. And then some undies. I just got done cooking everybody breakfast and stuff. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. mm 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 I need to wash my hair. That's why my head is. And my hair growing back. My hair grow back fast. Except on the side of my hair where it's patchy at. Tomorrow. I didn't even know I got this far. Oh, I must be moving kind of fast. <laughs> so, uh, but tomorrow I gotta go to work. Um, I put in a request to change my schedule. Um, my brother, um, I'm trying to line it up with his. He his is Monday through Friday, and then mine's is um, technically Monday through Friday, except I got that 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 Wednesday off, that middle day off. And then I'll have uh, Saturday and Sunday. Don't get me wrong. I love my current schedule. I do. Because I like having three days off in a row. But it seems to cause a lot of issues. Not a lot, but a few issues with like business-wise. And then um, for everybody else. Because I know not a lot of people have my schedule. It's only one person I know that has my schedule. And that's my um, my friend Kiana. She somewhat has my schedule. Except... Um, Wednesday will be my like my last day of work for the week, but Thursday is her last day for the work for work for the week. So, but she's the only person I know that has a similar schedule to mine. Everybody else is schedule different, so that's why I'm going to change mine, um, so it can match Darian's. And plus, because I don't like working on Sundays, I really don't. Don't be the days I take off the most, or well, I come home early. I go to work, but I come home early. Um. But starting tomorrow, I'm not going to be taking no more days off. 
because I'm trying to like build my, I, already, I don't touch my vacation. That's one of them I don't touch, but I don't want to touch my, um, my PTO and stuff like that no more. I want to save that because my birthday getting ready to come up and I know I'm not going to want to work on my birthday. So, hmm. but speaking of my birthday, I don't know what I'm going to do. I do know one thing. I ain't finna be in this house. Yeah, I still work at Amazon. I don't know. I just know I don't want to be in the house, though. Not for my 27th birthday, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, ham, no turkey. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shirt. Um, but I do know, like, I can't go. First of all, I'm not trying to go out to no clubs or nothing like that. You know, um, first of all, I'm definitely not finna do that during the panoramic. So, that's how I'm not, I don't even plan on, I don't want to do that stuff anyway. Because everybody else be just be bouncing from club to club like that. Like, we still ain't in the panoramic. I'm like, what y'all, what are y'all doing? Y'all asking to be in a casket. For your hair, go to Beauty Supply Store, buy some wild girls. Uh, I sure will. I, got, I think I got some wild growth to be honest. I just don't. Do, like, See, this is why I cut my hair off. Because for some reason, I got to the point where I don't want to touch it no more. I don't. Y'all know me. I used to always do my hair. I always kept my hair dead. But when I started working at Amazon, I don't. And then, um, plus during the, um, the panoramic, I ain't want to... Um, I didn't want to keep doing my hair because I'm like, I wasn't going nowhere on the weekends. I didn't want to keep putting on a wig or put it in a bun because when I put it in a bun or a ponytail, I don't know why. I just have an itchy scalp. Like, I could wash it a hundred times. I just got an itchy scalp. I don't know why. It itches. And I can't, first of all, this stuff, like, it'll get irritating having it in my head, trying to sleep with a bun and stuff in. I just stopped doing it, so I just kept a hat on at work. I put a hat on um, and then won't touch it. And on the weekend, I ain't going nowhere. I'm in the house. So I'm like, why do it? If I ain't gonna work, sometimes I get tired of me looking like a scarecrow and then I'll do something to it. But that's why I cut it off. And plus, because it wasn't growing either, and my hair was thinning on the sides, as you can see. That's why I just cut it off. And I, but I do need to keep it moisturized though, because it is it's very dry right now. I'm gonna wash my hair today. I want it to grow out just a little bit more, like to a little fro. That way I can put some curl stuff in it and then coil it like that. And after this time, I ain't gonna cut it no more. So I can get to that point. But I'm gonna keep it short for a while. And plus, y'all know I love my wig. So that ain't gonna change. And plus, I'm trying to get another wig. I want a, like, a burnt orange wig. It's so bad. I really do. And I want a full black one, a long black one. Because I don't have an everyday black wig. I got bob. I got a bunch of. I got like five bob wigs. I don't want no more bob wigs. I need one. I want a twenty inch um, black wig, full lace, a three sixty lace to be at that. That way I can wear that mug in a ponytail. I don't know what I'm doing to my hair for uh, Valentine's Day. Cause I got a date. I don't want to go bald headed. It's too cold to be. Honestly, it's too cold to be with my hair bald headed. But I want to look real cute on Valentine's Day though. So I keep saying I'm watching Shrek. I I got it on pause because I'm on live with y'all. But I do know one thing um, that I'm learning. You cannot let this virus stop you from living. You got to keep living your life. I ain't say be stupid and be moving reckless. I, that is not what I'm saying. I'm not saying being everybody a club under the sun. Um, 
be bouncing from house to house with Brian, a bunch of people. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is still, still do what you want to do, but just be safe. Take precautions and stuff like that. You know, and that's what I plan to do. But me, honestly, I don't plan on being around nobody else other than my family. Um, And I, I want to see, you know, my friends. You know, y'all know my two friends who always be on my channel. Just them two. I don't talk to nobody else like that. I mean, I do talk to other people. But as in being around people, they, they like pretty much like family. I've known them for years. So them would be the only people I know I would be around outside of my immediate family. And then, um, you know, the guy I talk to. Other than that, I ain't got nowhere else to go. Nobody else to talk to. Nobody else to see. Them the only people I would want to see. But, um, yeah, you can't live in fear. Don't get me wrong, we all scared and stuff like this because we know these are the last days. We're in something, we're in such serious times now. But you got to live like every day is your last. And I know that's scary to say and think about, but you do. You can't just curl up in a ball in a house and give up. You can't just stop living and just give up and no that ain't no way to live you might well you might well be dead by then but like i said don't mean be stupid either don't mean on be on every plane be on 10 different planes this year come on y'all now i do see some people still you know they'll travel and stuff like that and still go on vacation and stuff like that uh, i don't know about being on a plane like that, I could, I could wait on. I don't know about being on the plane. Now, let's say if you go on a little small road trip, just you and somebody else in the car, that's different. Like, let's say y'all spend like a weekend in a nice little hotel, chilling. That's fine. To me, that I think that's, to me, I think that's cool. But being on a plane and going a different country, I'm like, uh, that these famous people, they doing that. They can do that, hun, I guess. But most of them, they take private planes too, though, which is, which is good. Because it's better than, you know, getting on a plane with a bunch of strangers. But they can do that. We can't. But other than that, you know, y'all just stay safe out there. Chair. Yeah. Y'all just stay safe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I must be moving fast today or something. Because last night it seemed like it was taking me long. Now, I have some bees that are smaller than these way smaller but they fit on the string um i had tried to start my i was just like it was irritating me because they so small how small it is but the colors are so pretty i'm gonna i'm gonna make that one for me of course one of y'all can have it if y'all ask for it but i was i want to make the first one for me to see how it looked i know that one gonna take me some time because them beads are tiny i know one thing i ain't buying them small beads no more i'm gonna get these little these kind of they're a little bigger I'm going to get some medium-sized ones, just in case somebody want them. Hey, In the Kitchen with Gina Young. Good morning, Miss Keisha. I said your name right, right? Thank you, guys. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I keep that junk stuck in my head. Hold on, y'all. It's in the fall. Let's sit down back there. I had to look at this thing again. See, it look like it's different bees, but, you know, it's the same bees, though, that's in here. I like this pearl. I know y'all can't see it, but it's like a pearl, a purple, 
pearl color. What y'all gonna do today? It's real gloomy out today. The weather's the weather isn't bad. It's just like a little drizzly. It's gonna be cold for the next day. I can tell, cause it keep raining. Uh, cause y'all know it was raining yesterday when we was on live. Um, yeah, it's real ugly outside. So I don't really think anybody's gonna be outside today like that. And if they are, they're gonna probably be chilling in the house at somebody else's house. I don't know, but it's. It's kind of ugly outside. These glasses, y'all. I'm, I'm finna get new ones. Because as soon as I look down, they're going to fall off. These are some ragged glasses. I don't know what happened to them. I really don't. I got to see what time my... I got this appointment because it's the same day as my um my little uh, class I'm taking. My little session. I'm like... We might have to, I'm not finna move that session to get out there and I pushed it back two weeks. I ain't pushing it back no more. If they VTL Wednesday, I might have to take that day off because I, I need that day. Because I don't know if any of y'all know. Um, y'all know for a while I was not driving out of fear and out of fear. <laughs> but I recently started the process of getting my license and I have one more session before I, I take the test. Like on the 11th, I have that's the class I'm talking about. I have one, that session and then on the 12th, that very next day. I, uh, Gina, you meant to say that? If you have, thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. So on the 12th is my actual driving test and I paid for eight hours and I already took two sessions already. Then the third one is on the 11th. Hold on. Here's my LED lamp. Just sit on your desk. It will make it easier to you to see without straining your eyes. Ooh. That was when you removed it. Okay. I sure will. I could probably put it up under this um this little chef I got. Um. Oh, yeah. So, but my driving test is on the 12th. Um, so, so far, I feel like I've, I've, I feel like I've come so far with the driving. Like, I'm not as scared. Like, even when I drive my, y'all know my dad's truck is big. It's, I, and sometimes I feel like I'm more comfortable behind that one. I think it's the way it sits up and then the way the wheel is positioned. But the only problem is that car, you know, it's kind of, it's old. It has like a few issues. So, um, it's kind of hard for me. I can't like it's some it's some issues with it. So I don't feel comfortable driving it everywhere. If that makes sense, like if I'm in the neighborhood going to the corner store, I'll be fine. But as like going on the expressways, mm -mm, nope, I do not be wanting to do that. But um, but being behind the wheel in general, I feel a lot better. Um, I've gotten on the highway. That was one of my big fears. I've gotten on the highway twice. I did it in the the student car and I did it um in my dad's truck. Now in my dad's truck it was kind of hard because um with it being having issues it was it was just hard. I don't want to be telling too much talking about my dad's car. <laughs> but it has some issues. But um but when I did it in the student car I was just like okay it's not bad. I was like maybe it's because it wasn't that many people on the road that day. It was uh what day was that? It was a Friday afternoon like around no it was in the morning Cause he called and asked, could we change the time? Cause he wanted to come earlier. It was like, excuse me, around like ten thirty in the morning when we were um, taking a little session, and he had me drive from my house all the way out to the airport by my job. Cause you know it's a airport, literally out there where my job is. So he had me drive all the way to the airport and drive all the way back. But he made me take the long way too, though. And then most of the majority of the time, I stayed on the highway on expressway and stuff like that so and honestly 
it, I know I had to be extra focused. I was just like, <laughs> you know, and he got, it was sometimes when he got real quiet, I was like, dang, is he falling asleep? But I said, you ain't falling asleep over there. He was like, no, I'm just, he was like, cause he has an accent. He was like, no, I'm just, um, I want you to concentrate. You know, I don't want you to, I don't want to distract you. I said, okay. Everyone has a blessed Saturday. I hope everyone has a blessed Saturday as well. Thank you. Um, yeah. So he was just like, no, I want you to concentrate. I don't want to talk too much. And I said, okay. He was, and I, heard, and I asked for him again for my next session. I said, please, can I have, um, Hebert again? Because my first driving instructor, I'm making a way, um, way speeds. I'm making a way speed for, so, um, this girl I went to school with, she bought one. She bought two of them. She bought this black and gold one and this one. Good morning, by the way. She wanted a black and gold one, and then she wanted this one. This one came mixed. It's these right here. They were already mixed together. And so she chose this one. I sent her some pictures of the colors I had, and she chose this one. I'm almost done with it. She's coming to pick it up today. Um, But anyway, like I was saying, I don't know where I left off at. Oh. But yeah, my first driving instructor, he was... Um, my thing is, if you're going to be an instructor in any type of... You know, feel that you're in. You're going to be, you have to have patience. That's like being a teacher. You're, well, technically he is a teacher. You're going to have to have patience. And he didn't have any. And I didn't like that. No, you didn't interrupt. I'm sorry if I made you feel like you interrupted. No, you're fine. Um, No, it's just when I say, um, like I was saying, because I try to hurry up and think of, because honestly, I forget what I was talking about in a minute. That's why I try to hurry up and. <laughs> get back to what I was saying because I forget the whole thing but um but yeah he he didn't have any patience like his tone he was cursing too not at me but I don't know it's just he was kind of unprofessional and I I didn't like that I was just like okay and I get it like you know he was a little older he like he you know he said he I remember he said he was 63 I'm the same way. Yeah, like I got a hairpin. <laughs> I got a hairpin. Um, get back to what I was saying. Oh, I'll, I'll forget in a minute. Um, but yeah, he um, his patience was real thin. And see, when I have took my session with him, that was my first time driving in like months, and I mean months, probably like a maybe. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's, uh, maybe over six months. That's my first time driving when I took my session with him. And so I'm just like, you kind of, and he was like, you know, when people get, they huff and puff and stuff like that. It's like, no, you're not listening. You're not listening. But then I'm like, I'm listening to you. I said, but you got to realize I'm scared to death too. Like you got to be more patient with me. But this next time I got behind him, I was fine. Like, and I had a different instructor too. He was um, like when I was kind of, Drifting off to the side, he was like, "Stay straight." I said, "Okay." So I, I straightened up. Like it's just, it's all about tone. It's how you talk to people too. I'm like, if you're gonna be somebody teacher, you gotta have, you gotta have patience. Like being, you know, a child care teacher, you have to have patience. Like if you're gonna be teaching anybody, I don't know. I just thought he was real rude, but that's why I asked for um the second instructor again. I was like, "Can I have him, please?" He, I just like the way he he teaches. And don't worry, he doesn't baby me or anything. He just he just knows he's professional. He know how to talk. But anyway, y'all, that's what I got coming up. Is I gotta finish that, um, and then I need to go to the eye doctor. Me and Darren going, so I'm gonna try to vlog that too when we go to the eye doctor, cause I need to get contacts and um glasses. Cause look, when I look down. Or, hold on, is it going to do it? Sometimes they won't do it, but you see how wide it is? I've tried bending them to fit. They just, and then you can see like they peeling around the side. Like, I don't know, I think that's the medicine peeling off of them. I don't know. And I don't even know how that happened. I didn't tug on them or nothing. It just happened that way. Sorry, y'all. I'm looking a little like an old lady. <laughs> my my um my nana bought me this. It's like a little towel, but you know it has straps to it and it, the Velcro part. 
Y'all know I'm an old soul anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, I posted some, uh, some pictures of Jalen's on my um my Instagram and my Facebook. Uh, hold on. I'm going to show y'all mine real quick. Let me throw some shorts. Got all I have on this underwear and this towel. So let me step out the camera. Put some shorts on for y'all. I'm going to be showing you my goodies. Okay. All right. This is how it look, y'all. This is the one I got on. Let's see. I have mine sitting on my hips. Because I don't like it, you know. And if it do roll up to my stomach, it'll come, like, right here. See that? And when I suck it in, it'll drop to my hips. It won't go no no lower, which is good. So if you're wearing, like, a bikini, it'll sit right on your hips like that. And that's how I notice a lot of people wear theirs. They'll wear them on their hips like that. And if you got a real small waist, like a flat stomach like Jalen do, yours going to sit up here. But see, let me, I'm going to let my stomach go. See, it's going to hold it up. So if you want yours up here, it's going to hold it up. I don't care about y'all sh showing y'all my gut because y'all know I got one. Don't care. And if you, let's say you trying to lose weight, you can use use these for those two to keep up with your weight. If it get too tight, you know, you're eating too much. If it gets smaller, like your, if it starts to drop, then you know you're losing weight. So, see, that's why I got it right there on my hips. Because I'm plus, I don't want it sitting on my stomach like that. Especially for not that long either. Shoot, I'm almost done. With, like, why is that? I'm moving so fast today? I think it's because I'm talking. I don't know. Because I was not moving this fast yesterday, y'all. I swear I wasn't. Well, last night. I was doing them last night. But, it, yeah, if you are if you want one. <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Ooh. I got the hiccups. Excuse me. I woke up early. I I had cooked breakfast. But if you want one, um email me. More Galen at Gmail. I'll tell y'all that all the time. And y'all be like, what's the email? <laughs> and if you're friends with me on social media, you can inbox me too. Either way. But if you don't have an uh Instagram or Facebook, email me. My it's my last name and my first name at, at Gmail. M O O R E G A Y L E N. Hi, Miss Lynette. And I'm just glad these are light. So I don't have to charge so much for the darn shipping. Because them trays, I'm going to be honest, y'all. I hate them trays. I like doing them because they're so pretty. And I'm still making those. If y'all want one, let me know. Um. They're so pretty, but I have to charge so much for them because you know that that flat rate box, that box, it's the the shipping is twenty one and some change. That's a lot. So imagine if I had ten of those, yeah, and I had to ship all of them. The B spinner makes things really. I know. I was um trying. Y'all know I was trying to ask Mama because I'm. I think she, I think she got one, but she want to let me hold it. <laughs> I don't know. I think she had something else. She said she had. It was something like that. I'm going to get me one, though. Because I heard they make make it very fast. But I'm doing these, like, <laughs> just old fast way just sitting here doing this. But I'm moving pretty fast today. I have no idea why. I think it's because I'm talking. Yesterday, I wasn't doing no talking. I was just watching TV. Good morning. Tamla, I was about to say to me, look. <laughs> I remember you was like, it's Tamla like Pamela. I was like, oh my God. First of all, we couldn't read for nothing yesterday. I'm sorry about that. Y'all had to witness that. I'm like, oh, mom, we kind of get you. Oh, my thing. We ain't got no home train. <laughs> well, no nothing. Um, but yeah, y'all, this is still me. I'm Darian's channel. Um, he still has his own personal channel where he do most of his gaming and stuff like that. This channel is going to be, you know, I still post some of my individual stuff, as you can see. And then it's going to be videos of me and him. Um, like, you know, with me and mama going shopping and stuff like that. So it's kind of, 
it's still the same. Mm -mm -mm. I know I'm kind of rebranding here. I know they're like, well, girl, what's your channel about? Because you kind of all over the place. <laughs> it was a, just a beauty channel at first. But I wanted to try different things and stuff like that. And plus, at one point, I felt like I kind of lost my passion for makeup. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I just, I got bored with it. And I think it's because I got discouraged. And I felt like I was getting to a point where... It wasn't that important to focus on. But I want, that's why I was like, you know what, Noah? That's why y'all have seen me. I have posted at least a video every day or every other day lately. Because I want to get back, you know, more consistent with it. I don't want to just keep going to work, coming home, and then don't do nothing, you know? And then the beads was another idea. Because I know I asked a couple months ago. I was like, should I start making waist beads? I asked people on my Facebook, Facebook, Facebook and my Instagram. And it was like, yes, because, and I was like, well, should I even be making them? Because it's getting ready to get cold. And it was like, girl, people wear them things year round. And I was like, okay, true that. So I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it, and I was just like, okay, I'm going to try it out. I'm like, I'll be watching my mom make her little beads. I was like, well, I want to try to make my own. Since she makes the bracelets, I want to do the waist beads. And plus, I've always wanted some. I just never knew where you got them from and stuff like that. And I knew they were, you know, an African thing, which is great. I want to do some. I want to do some for like people. If y'all from different countries and stuff like that, let's say you Jamaican, I'll I'll make some in Jamaican colors. If you from Italy, I'll do some in you know the colors of y'all flag. That's what I really want to do. You know, make some for everybody. And this is one girl. She had like eight on around her waist. They be, but they so pretty though. They look. They look. They really complement your body. And some people feel like, oh, you got to have a flat stomach. Well, no, you don't, honey. Like, the one girl I watch, her stomach looks just like mine, and they look good on her. You can have curves and still wear these things. Don't get discouraged. Don't feel like you got to be a size 2 to wear them. No. Honey, even if your stomach hangs to the floor, put them things on. You need a little extra large. I'll make it a little wider for you. But they stretch pretty good, honestly. Let me show y'all. I made hers... I tried to measure my, because her stomach kind of looks like mine. Like, no shade or nothing. Because um, she just had a baby. Me, I ain't got no excuse. I eat, I just eat too much. But she had a baby. And so I kind of made hers to where it'll sit on her stomach, but it could drop to her hips too. If she don't want it on her stomach. I'll let her know that when she come and pick it up. But, see that? They stretch pretty good. Which is good. So, I wouldn't have to make them too big, you know, because they stretch. But the one thing I, I I'm not gonna lie that I'm a little nervous about is securing the knot because I I time in like five different knots to make sure they don't come loose because this type of string it it will come loose if you don't tie it as many times like at the end to get them to hold at the end see I know you can't tell but that's like five or six knots right here I had to tie that I don't know how many times. And you probably only do it three times, but I tied that many times to make sure. <laughs> After I make hers, I'm going to tell her they're ready. Um, and then I'm going to start on this. This one with these little bees. I know that's going to take me some time. They they so little. Where, matter of fact, where the little... Here you go. Hold on, y'all. Is this... You see how tiny they is? These are small. But the colors is so pretty. Like, they tiny. But I still want to see if I can do it. Child, the trim might be up there running around. Cause you know we got the um we got the babies this weekend. Um my dad was like, let him come over and spend the night. So Zarya slept with me like <laughs> Zarya slept with me last night. Can you use a glue? I have a similar to secure. Yes, I seen in the video you can use glue. Even on the back of the the little uh um string box. 
the string, uh, the box of the string, it says you can also use glue on the knot too. I don't have any glue, and I'm not gonna go there and ask my mama to use hers because she's like, I ain't gave you guys all my glue. So I'm, I'm gonna get some of that too, just to you know be on the safe side. So I'll definitely get some as well. I just hope I don't get too messy with y'all know the glue messy. Yeah, just a little dab. And no one meets. I don't know, I'm messy. It's with that resin stuff, I be messy. I'm like, oh, you look like a five year old. <laughs> you doing this stuff. I'm just messy, I don't know what. Okay, so y'all, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about something because I'll be watching different people, you know, speak on and I use the GS Hybel cinnamon glue. Try it. How much is it and where can I get it? Um, I was okay. So I was watching Jesse Wu. I know some of y'all know who that is. Uh, pretty black. See what I'm talking about? You see how easily they come off? I graze my hand across my and they go flying. <sighs> and y'all y'all don't know how many times I do that during the day. I do it at work too. Oh my gosh. Like I was saying. Um what was I saying? Okay. So yeah, Jessie Wu, she was from Love and Hip Hop, and she was already like just, you know, making videos, talking and stuff on her Instagram. But she also has a YouTube channel. And I was watching her talk about, you know, I know, do y'all know the, um, Danny Lay situation? I ordered from Amazon. It's six or seven bucks. Okay. It, but it, it takes only a little bit. Good. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Michael's, I think. Hobby Lobby. I'm going to get it on Amazon because it's cheaper. Hey, mom. Lobby. Have it. But it's very inexpensive, but it holds the last year. Okay. I sure will. I sure will. So hopefully these hold until I get that glue. Um, what was I finna say? Yeah, so I, do y'all know about the Danny Lay situation that happened like last week? And you it's just a tad damn. Okay. Make sure I'm gonna go back to these comments later when I get ready to buy it off of Amazon. Um She's like a, I think she's a sing. I don't know. She's an artist. Um, she, I mean, she really can't sing and she don't rap. But, you know, some of her songs, like her her first song she did was catchy. I used to like that song. It was, um, uh, how'd it go? What, what is it called? Oh, My Little Baby. It's called My Little Baby, the song. But, okay, so y'all know she's dating the baby, which is, you know, a rapper. I know some of y'all might not be listening to these young people, but, you know, the baby has uh, the mother of his children. Her name is Mimi. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. And she, um, basically, he was messing with Mimi. You know, he was dating and his the mother of his kids, but he was also messing with Danny Lay at the same time. Okay, he was kind of going back and forth between them all last year. But now he's going public with Danny Lay now. He's just with her. So she came out with this song. <laughs> I, I think it's called Yellow Bone. That's what he want. It was like, and I, it was all over the shade room. I know some of y'all done seen it. It was like, Yellow Bone, that's what he want. <laughs> Everybody didn't like the song because it was trash. I mean, honestly, it was pretty bad. But they didn't like the fact that she called herself a yellow bone. And because Danny Lay, Danny Lay is not black. Yellow bone is a black term. That's what we call um, yellow black women. You know, who yellow? I need an example. Um, okay, you know, like Lisa Ray, Lisa Ray and Vivica Fox was talking about it. You know, like Lisa Ray is red, we call them. You need some glue. 
What kind is that? Is that super glue? It's uh, jewelry glue. It's it's thick, good, quick. Like it'll cement your nails together real quick. Your fingers together real quick. Okay, well then, what I you need glue for? The security knots. Oh. I mean, I talk till after you finish. Yeah. Cause as soon as you dab it on there, it starts to dry. Okay. You don't want nothing. If you need to adjust this, like pull it back and then look and put it on there and just blow it for a few minutes and then let it go. Okay. Well, I made this one for this girl. Um, mm. I went to high school with her name. She wanted this mixture. I showed her them. She wanted that one and she wanted that black and gold one. Mm. It mama, you, mama, see, you can wear them too. You wear, you Girl, can wear. I don't need nothing on this hump to dump in. Ma, you don't have to wear them directly on your stomach. It my can stomach. drop to your hips. It's gonna like be like that. Mm -hmm. Mine's is on my mm -hmm. hips. I don't know, dog. Mm -hmm. I won't be able to see it. My drawers gonna have it in the way my stomach's so big. And you mm -hmm. can wear them. <laughs> no, your stomach ain't that big. Mm -hmm. No, I say even if it is, it's gonna sit on your hips. Yeah, that bonus <laughs> singing a song. What's um the one you had Jalen had? You made Jalen. You used all of that. I I used that one, and yeah, I used all of it. It was the little bottle. It was. Mm. I like these. Yeah, it kind of looked like that, but the colors was similar to this. I one. need to get some of this for my bracelets. I like the little things in there. Mm hmm. I didn't even pay those any attention. And they work. Ooh. Ooh, now how you get these on in the thing? I they fit on the string. I'm gonna do that one next. Okay. Just for um I'm gonna do that one for me. It's, see, that's what I was trying to do last night, but where your comments at? They popping up. Okay. Mm hmm That's Oh what what you hear? You have to it was on top. You have to hit this. Oh, so I probably missed some people's comments. Yeah, you had it on top chat, so it's only going to show certain people. You have to hit live chat for it to show everybody. Uh -huh. Oh. Good morning, y'all. See, this was one of the ones that hey, Jalen had on hers. Oh, girl, where the hole at? It's, in, it's on there. Oh, okay. Then you have a light. What light? Like, the little, the little white light. Mm -mm, you had a lamp, didn't you? A big one. What that red lamp Darian used to have that I had in his room? A red lamp. Yeah, it sit on the deck with the arm. Let me. See oh, I don't know. I think he threw that away. I ain't he seen that in here. Mm -hmm. All right, I see. You. I see. Okay, what was that? Okay. The dinner, okay, so they didn't like the fact that she called herself, you know, a yellow bone because it's a black term. You know, that's what we call certain light-skinned women in the black community. And with her not being black, they was like, hold up, what you doing? Because she's a, a white, a white Dominican. And both her parents, you know, are, are white Dominicans, whatever. And yellow bone is a black term. So they were kind of, you know, people found issues with that. Look, the and then it was it it came off like she was bragging because she has the you know you know how the girlfriend get in the baby mama baby daddy situation when he get a new girlfriend you know how the girlfriend act you know be trying to do that to get you know do certain stuff to get at the baby that's that's basically what it was. So the thing is, but her plan kind of backfired. It backfired, and so. She got a lot of heat for that. The only thing I had an issue with that one girl mentioned about it, um, she was just like, you know, you making a song about your skin color. If first of all, if he wants you for your skin color, you shouldn't want to be with him no way. Facts, you know. And then it's like you sitting there making a song and you you got a dark skinned black boyfriend with two dark skinned baby mamas two dark-skinned children and you talking about you know trying to make it seem like you know people saying she's trying to make it seem like you know she was better than you know yeah like she, you know you know y'all know how it is with the basically saying she a colorist so and what i wanted to speak on related to that situation is that 
I want y'all to keep it a hundred now. Y'all know a lot of black men, and most of that, the reason why those type of women who are non-black have have those thoughts to where they feel more superior than the black woman, or they feel like they better, or they feel like, you know, because, and then I say, oh, well, I'm not racist. My, my boyfriend is black. Sweetie, you can be racist and then have a black boyfriend. You Yes, you can. And... But by and by your statement that proves that you you know can be racist. It's just y'all know, but that that all comes down from black men doing that. They'll as soon oh, but as soon as you say something like sweetie, you can't be saying that you're not black. Or like a lot of them say the n word. A lot of non black women say the n word. The Latinos who don't have no black in them. The Dominicans who don't have no black in them. Vietnamese, Asian. Who use the N word, and that's because their black boyfriend allowed them to. And uh, I'm not racist. My boyfriend, he allowed you to say it because he wanna, yeah, and because he wanna, he wanna talk to you, he wanna date you, he wanna do things to you. That's why he allowed you to say it, and that, that's why they feel that way. It's because these black dudes be letting them say it, and that's the thing. Like, and then oh, as soon as we say something, oh, you hating. Oh, no, she just hating. Don't worry. You know you pretty, girl. Yeah, she just hating on you. Da, da, da. No, it ain't even like that. It's just certain stuff you can't say. You you know you're not allowed to say, but... Oh, <laughs> y'all trying to concentrate on... Okay, I'm going to try to use the glue. Okay, I tied it in like two knots. Okay, I'm going to try that one more knot. We'll put like one more. Hold on, let me put like. Where your plug at? Um, back here. It's in a citric court. It was a. Oh, behind me. Hold on. Yeah, you should be able to pull it now. It was some, um, somebody on Facebook that was like, um, did y'all mama ever beat y'all with an extension cord? But it was the way they spelled it. It was the way they spelled it. Astanchi. They spelled it extension. It was so funny. Oh. Did y'all ever get beat with an extension cord? I ain't never get beat with one. I got hit. I wish I would. That that mess hurt. That's wire. Mm -hmm. I ain't never get beat with one. I got a belt and a hand, but you not no a, extension you cord. You need a belt whooping. You was so hard hit I don't know what you talking about. I bet. Hey. What is <laughs> I'm trying to focus. How long did it take to dry? Let's see. Put your hand on it. I bet you you can't get it off. Okay, hold on. I'm scared. I don't know if it... Oh, I got pants thrown. Oh, you got pants thrown at me. And a... Oh, not, a... not pants. Oh, uh, mama, it wasn't dry. I told you. <laughs> Hot. Didn't I just say, y'all, she hard? But you said put your finger on it and see? That's... I wasn't really telling you to put your finger on it, Janae, because I told you it dries instantly. As soon as you put your finger on it, it'll stick to you. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Oh, that light look good. Can you see? Mm hmm. I'm gonna put some glue on that one too. Where your tablet so you can see the comments? Over there. Jari went to sleep watching it last night. It's right there on the bed. Child, Zari will sleep like she yeah. in a casket. She don't move. I had to wake. I had to wake up and touch her like this, and then she'll That's move. That's how y'all say I sleep then. Mama, you sleep like this. You sleep <laughs> like you really in a casket. She just sleep like she dead. She don't move. She only moved. Off. No, she only moves when I move. Like if I move my leg in the bed, she'll move. 
for other than that. When I move, you move. All right. Just like that. Now, how you measure that? Did she tell you how wide she was? No, I looked at her. Mm. <laughs> but I'm, they stretch. So, I'm, look at that. To, you need to look in your sewing box. Mm -hmm. uh, look in your sewing box. I got oh, some, let me glue this one. I got some things you probably could put on the end to cover up the knot. Not covers. I got to cut the excess string off. I did it on this one. Hold on, y'all. Because my nose run. I know y'all talk. I'm so sorry. I'm used to just like, you know, tapping my nose with the back of my hand. I know y'all like, ooh, that's nasty. Excuse me. It's because my room stays cold. That's why my nose running a little bit. I'm just glad it ain't, you know, real, real bad. I apologize for that. Y'all shouldn't have to see that. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't want the beat to touch it. Okay, there you go. Oh, she can. I did that one fast. I don't know about y'all, but I'm <laughs> I'm just appalled. I'm like, I did that fast. I'm going to put on some real clothes, y'all. I know y'all tired of me seeing me like this. I am. I already got on shorts. I'm going to put on my, um, these pajama shorts. Anyway, I'm going to put some, my tank top with it. What an Advil like that? I don't know where I put my Advil. It's usually in my, I put it in my work bag. Where? Oh. Ah, some more finger. Somebody got that? Hey, Miss Barbara. My mom, my mama don't want that. She be bad though. Okay, so like, I'm scared to touch it, check. And it's still wet. She don't really dry instantly. No, I don't. Yeah, now it's got my fingers still. Y'all, y'all banging on the wall over there. They must be in their closet looking for something. Good morning. I got a peanut. Ooh, look at my hair. Look at my hairline. Oh, y'all, my hair is terrible. I need to brush my hair. I want to sit down and let it dry, but I don't want it to stick to nothing. Yeah, I like my last one. Yeah, child. I had to cut it off. I need to brush it. Okay, I'm going to try to test it. Okay. No, it's still. I ain't going to play. I ain't going to play. I'm going to let it sit like that. Matter of fact, let me sit down here by itself. Hold on, y'all. I'm put on shirt. I know my title. I'm good. I ain't got no mirror back though. <laughs> I'm out the camera. They can't see me. I'm gonna take this. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Where did I find that at? Where you put it at? I put. I put it in the room. That yeah, I'll do. You got some pink earphones in here. These yours? Mm mm. And they ain't broke. They broke? Mm hmm. Look at them. Okay. Hey, y'all. Took her seat for a second. She had a. Uh, what you do with your box? Remember your sewing box? I put it in the general room. 
That was you in the clothes. I thought that was That's them right there. I'm going to have him looking for this box because I know it's thread in here. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's strong enough for you to use for that, for your bracelets. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to put thread on it because it might, you know, might not stretch it good, good enough. You know what box I'm talking about? The flip top sewing box. Remember? You had a flip top sewing oh, box. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, that's gone. You threw it away? Yeah, because it broke. That's why I put all the threads in there. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I bent my off it away years ago because it had broke. Ugh. All right, I'm looking a little decent. Put my earrings on. It's like a little decent for y'all. I do got earrings on. I just don't like wearing these little studs. I like my studs to be big. I told her to give me some studs from the store. She got me little baby ones. I don't like my small. I like them big. I like big studs. Okay, so now I'm gonna do. Um, oh, they was telling you good morning. Who was it? A few people. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Mama B. Mama B said you got a cut like hers. Mm hmm. She yapped it off, Mama. Chase said he got pans. Good morning. I'm going to leave y'all alone. Y'all have a good one. Peace and blessings. Love y'all a lot. What, what, Janelle, what you doing? You ain't even tied a knot yet. You ain't even tied an end yet. Um, house shoes. My feet cold on this floor. Let me just put some socks on. Mm -hmm. Oh, my chest made me look gigantic on the shoulders. My mom bought me a triple D bra and it fit. I was so mad. I was highly upset. No one might want that no chest, that dog on beard. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let me check my make sure my um, phone ain't dying. Hey now. Hey now. Got a way I can read the comments too. All right, chair. I'm gonna start making no noises. Ugh. Okay, what was I talking? I know I was talking about something. What um uh, What if I make anklets too? Match your anklets.
Okay, I think I even got this not stuck. Hold up, y'all. I know I'm staying in one spot. That's because I'm day daydreaming, too. <laughs> Okay, I think they're not good enough now. Um, and I'll glue it after I finish. I don't want it to get stuck on there. Okay, so I'm going to sit here and try to put these little T90 um, beads on here. I can barely hold it in my hand. I know this is going to take me a minute. Oh, my back. Let me sit back. I dropped it. I don't know. I'm gonna be able to. Do it. Oh, yeah. So so yeah, she got a lot of backlash for that, and she um. And she put out an apology or whatever. And in her apology, she was like, well, you know, I get it. It's a sensitive subject, you know. But I'm just like, I'm not racist. How can I be racist? And I have a whole chocolate boy. What? Like, it's just, they be saying some dumb stuff. I know they be trying to prove their, you know, their case or whatever. But you got to, it's not, it's not their fault. Good morning, Miss Pat. It's not their fault. It's the men allowing them to do that. Like, y'all can date and love whoever y'all want. It's just a certain line you don't cross. Like, come on now. I can't use these. They falling out my hair. I think it's because I can't feel it. Because I got this glue on my thumb, setting my thumb. Oh, during data usage. I'll be using the heck out of my data. Okay, I got two on there. <laughs> Who is that? Mia. What you want? It take more than one. Because you're going to keep coming back in here and taking my pads. Take that you. All the way last How many you have? You sure you ain't gonna need more than that? Um, um. So y'all, Nick Cannon got his job back. You know, he got, they bringing the show Wild and Out back, which is good. Um, Oh, and he tested positive too for COVID. And you know, he has lupus. So I hope he all right. I really do. I really do. and I. But you know what? And this could just be me. I think they brought that show back because I'm telling you what. Two days ago, it said he tested positive. And then like the very next day, they was like, oh, um, they're bringing the show back. For, because of his apology. He apologized months ago for the stuff he said. But as soon as he tests positive, now you're... I don't know. It's just me. Maybe it's just me. But I thought that was real funny. I'm like, he test positive a couple days ago, and like a few days after, now y'all bringing his show back. He and then they said he they bringing the show back because of his apology. He apologized months ago for that. Like, come on now. But I really do. I hope he's okay because he has lupus, and you know, having something that serious and then getting COVID, it can be very dangerous. It's dangerous, period. But especially having like a sickness like that. Okay, I got, I think I got like four on here, y'all. I want to do it, though, because the colors are so pretty, and I want this one to be mine. I want it. Now, some of them, like, they be, like, stuck. They be having stuff in the middle of the hole. See, I couldn't even get that one in there. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. I woke up kind of early. I woke up and I cooked breakfast for everybody. My dad kind of helped because he did the grits because I ain't, I ain't the best at making grits. 
yes, everything is for uh, publicity. And I'm like, I can't get it in there. It must be stuck. Okay. You know what? We ain't gonna give up. <laughs> we ain't gonna give up. Okay, there you go. Nice. Yeah, that one had something like stuck in the middle. Good morning. Mm, I need. I should have got on here and brushed my hair. I know y'all like, girl, why you didn't brush your hair? I didn't. Y'all ain't see my little dirty clothes basket. That's a ghetto hood on. He's got them little spikes on him. I can't find my regular brush. A little better. So look at the patches. I can't do the patches. See? As soon as I tap them, they fall. Raggedy behind them. Oh, it's a little better. Better than what it was. All right, hold up. Let me put some socks on with my feet. It is cold. These brand new socks. Y'all know socks disappear like it ain't nothing. Then you'll be and cloth and string. Maybe easier. Okay. Thank you. It didn't look that good, um, Tanisha. It didn't. Mm -mm. Looking real peasy. I think it's the longest I've been on live with y'all. I do, cause I don't usually I don't usually get on here and sit like this. I don't, cause I feel like I be talking too much. Or talking not enough, I don't know. Okay, got another one on there. See? <laughs> I'm gonna need some more black beads too. Cause them little black beads, them little black beads, they the same size as these. I had to use the bigger ones that I bought in this little case. I told I promise y'all ain't buying these little be beads no more. They fit on the string, but they just, mm-mm. Too little. We'll have to get the cute big ones. I hope I ain't got no, I shouldn't have, yeah, I ain't got no hair up on my arm. I'm about to say, I'm reaching my arm up on the Y'all don't see no hair on there. I shaved them the other day, but you know, when you shave with a razor, that junk go back fast. I used to wax my um, underarms. I haven't used my wax machine in a minute. Have you ever tried to wax yourself? You know, your bikini area? I tried to do that junk myself one day. I was in here um, yodeling. I was like, oh my God, that's the worst decision. I, I took the scissors and I cut, cut it off. I sure did. 
because it was stuck because I could I was just scared to rip it because I was trying to oh my gosh it hurts so bad me trying to rip it I just said bump it and I just cut it mm -mm. I said I'm gonna just have to go to the the waxing place to do it and let them do it because you try to do it yourself it's not gonna happen and I could do my legs and my armpits it's not it's not a problem but the bikini area nope never again but I do need to go I knew I do need to start back waxing because whenever I shave with a razor you get ingrown hair so easy like I always get them between my legs and they be so big and they be hurting I'm like no this gotta stop this ain't where it's at I don't like this okay more and more Like this at foolish in this chair. I don't know, maybe I was just moving slow last night. I'm moving that that um <laughs> that's slow. Yeah, I tell you I am so much like my mama. So much like her. Cause all I all I think about is decorating my own house my house when we me and Darren move out that's all I'm thinking about is just decorating it because I already know how I want no I know how I want my room to look I want all new stuff all this stuff ain't coming with me so like I'm gonna bring my new shelf I'm bring my shelf I might leave the dresses and stuff for probably because I think Jalen might no nah, never mind I don't know if Jalen gonna get her own room just yet I don't know if she is but she might. I might just leave the dresses for Jalen. If not, I'll bring them. It depends on if my mama want them. Um, but I know I've always, I told you, I've always wanted a canopy bed. Never had one. I always wanted one. And I y'all be like, mm, that's a little child. Right. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't. And I know grown people that got canopy beds. But I want, like, I want sheer curtains hanging from them. Um, I also want, I want lights going around the top. And some kind of hang down over the sheer curtains. But I want my room. I want it some type of light color. I don't want it dark. I don't want no dark room. Because I'm in my walls in here. It used to be burgundy. Y'all remember that? I don't want it dark. I want. I kind of want like a gold. I want gold, white, and cream colored. Like a beige. Or I want it all like. Maybe like a light blue. Light blue, gold. What else? And white. That wouldn't be bad together. Light blue, gold, and white. That'd be pretty. But I want some, and I kind of want like, I don't know if my room would be big enough. But I'm, I'm told there. I said, look, I'm getting a room with the bathroom. I sure am. I mean, obviously, I'm the girl in the house. And plus, um. Well, you know what? Yeah, no, because I got a lot of feminine products, and I don't need everybody coming in. I'm in the the whole bathroom, seeing all my stuff up in there. So, yeah. I will get the room with the bathroom. And Darren, y'all know Darren can't decorate for nothing. He swear he knew. I mean, I could do it. No, he can't. Darren will sleep on a cot and a dresser and a TV in his game system. That's all he'll be good with. No, I wouldn't dare let him touch anything else in that house. I'm going to do it. I'm doing good. If y'all hear me keep... Doing like that, I'm getting clogged up because it's room cold. Thank you. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I don't mean to be holding my mouth open like that in front of the camera. But yeah, I wouldn't dare let Darren touch. I already, look, like I said, y'all know I don't cook like that, but I know... I'm going to really, like, have to when I move out. It's just cool. Because I do, because, I, like, you know, my mom, they buy, they buy food for, like, three different households and stuff like that. Ours, Ashley's, um, and stuff like that. So, they buy a lot of junk food, too. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'll be asking for it, too, like, when I be craving certain stuff. But I know I'm going to try to move it to where they got a gym. Because I want to go to the gym. And I know my brother here really make me get up and go. Knowing I want to. So, um, I'm going to try to.
Hold on, I'm just trying to concentrate. I'm going to try to, like, shop for, you know, more healthier foods and stuff like that. To try to cook more at home instead of eating out so much. See, when I'm home, I get to eat however I want to. <laughs> That's the problem. They be telling me, like, what you want for them? Mm, I'm craving this and this and this. But that's all right. But I'm a, I want to be more disciplined, you know, when I get up out of here. I kind of want to use some of them letter beads on here on this one. I'm going to put my name on it. But I'm scared, like, will it slide through the other... I want to be able to go through the other beads. Ma! It's chill. Y'all, I swear, I ain't passing gas. It's a chill. See? <laughs> I'm in this leather chair. It ain't, it ain't me. I want to... Ooh, chill. She's right. She right in there. Thank you. It's it's coming along, y'all. I got a lot of blues on there. I need to put some more pinks and purples. Honestly, I'm not even looking at which ones I'm grabbing. I'm just grabbing as I go. I really am, to be honest. Because honestly, that's kind of hard for me to sit there and be trying to pick through them. I'm just grabbing as I go. And no, I do not put the colors in order. Honestly, that's going to take too long. And I think like I feel like that's just too... That's too boring to have like a... Um, in a certain order i feel like if you just do them at random i feel like it looks better i don't know why that's just me now the black and gold one is in order it's like black gold and i did certain parts where the gold is a little longer than the black you know it says because it's only two colors but if it's multiple colors like this one i'm not gonna do it in order i feel like it don't look right i mean i like it i like it at random like that Ooh, my feet feel so much better. It's a world of fun. 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 Yeah, I'm here. Oh. I got some black bees over here too. I'm just trying to make sure I ain't grabbing none of them. I need some more purples. All right, let me try to look for a purple. Here's one. Um, I gotta clear my throat, but I don't want to. Hold on, I'm gonna mute y'all. I gotta clear my throat. Sorry, y'all. I had to. I had to clear. It was. It was just nasty, and I didn't want to do that. That's why I muted it. Because it's cold in here. And when every time the cold air hit me, between my nose and my mouth, well, my nose and my throat, it'll get clogged up a little bit. Hey, Pamela. You know, we got a Tamala in here, too. Coming along, y'all. It's coming. I don't. I think last night I didn't have the patience for it. I think I didn't, cause I was like, I started on this and I was like, oh, I ain't finna do these little bees. I think it's cause I was sleepy too. It was at nighttime. I had an eight sat down, 
got relaxed, but now like I got all the energy. I'm grabbing a lot of blues. I'm just grabbing too much of the same color. Give me a purple one. Let me take these off here. Hold on, y'all. Let me try and grab this bead. Me and these football players' shoulders could tackle anybody. Ah, my chest look gigantic. I swear they're not that big, are they? Hmm. Mm. I can get a breast reduction. Y'all ain't got quiet for me. <laughs> I was trying to concentrate. Sorry. You got an order. Who? There she is, Sal. Hey, Miss Sal. Hey. What's the matter? Are you trying to? <laughs> she want to. Uh... You want Disney Plus or JoJo? She want to get oh, us. I just want some. Go ahead. I just want some red. As long as it got some red in it, whatever other color. Red and what else? Any other color. Okay. Just as long as it's got a lot of red in it. Okay. Because that's her favorite color. But um, red and I'll give her your um, your information. Okay. She just, I just want to let you know she want to get some waist beads. Okay. This is a red. I don't know if you still watching. But that one got some red in it. Oh, the big, I got a big red, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw when she picked it up yesterday. That's fine. Where is it? I had a big one up here. Oh, you done passed out. Where is it? Uh-oh. It's, oh, it's, <laughs> it's behind the phone. It's right there. It's behind the phone. Okay. Um... Yeah, uh, sister soldier, you might want to climb on up out my bed, jumping in my bed. Yeah, hold on, wait. You want you want the app or you wanted the website? Well, you on the website? Oh, Jojo. It was Jojo. <laughs> but you touch nothing up here. I'm gonna go to swatting you. You want Jojo Shewa? That's how she said. Where did the lace from? Huh? Where did the lace from? That's um she got that from Darian room. Here. Oh. Let's go down there. Go on the front, because I, I can't play you can't play that during my own um, video. Sorry, close the door, honey. Thank you. Yeah, that girl there. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Mm-hmm. 
I gotta wash my face. My face itching. I washed it yesterday. But I didn't wash I didn't wash it this morning. Because I don't like to just... You know, people wash their face with a soap and a rag. No, I like to detail my face. I'm going to do it after I get done with these beads. I bought some... Y'all know the other day we bought this um on my live. I bought this. Had your face feeling all smooth. I use, um, I need to give me a regular brush. I have like a little silicone brush that I wash my face with and it vibrates. Um, I want a regular one too. Oh, here go a purple one. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. Get back to watching my movie. If you are interested in a waist beads. Please email me or inbox me on social media. Email is moregalen at gmail.com. Um, please email me. Contact me. Ask me for one. I'll give you my information, everything that you need. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this channel. Tell your friends about it. Tell your friends' friends about it. Tell your cousins, mama, sister, daddy, uncle, nieces. About it. Now, holla at y'all later. Look, I'm.